Are you looking for a new 1080p gaming graphics card but just don't want to spend all that much money? Well, this is the 380X from AMD, it was just launched today and we're going to be taking a look at it. Stick around for the full review. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is the 380X. Now there are a few things that are different about this one. Now obviously this is the XFX edition card which, um, just long story short, did have to go to quite long lens to get one. But I have one and here's the main spec. So it's got 2048 cores as well as 4GB of GDDR5 RAM. It's also got a movable uh, clock that sits at around about 970MHz or more with uh, two 6 pin power connectors to power it. Now it's around about 9 inches long and around about 4.5 inches wide with two 90mm fans um, to keep this thing actually pretty cool. I mean, the maximum temperature I saw was about 75 and uh, the average temperature, temperature under load I saw was about 60 to 65, which is actually really nice. Now, in terms of this PCB, it does have the power connectors facing outwards, uh, sort of towards where your hard drives would be, for example, but you do get a very nice heatsink, uh, sort of heat pipe design that I quite like, and it does, as I said, do a really good job of keeping the card quite cool. Now, the rear IO does definitely settle, settle in the midi medium range with a DVI port, DVI-D, a full-size display port, and an HDMI port. Now, uh, to take a look at the 280 from last generation, as you can see, the 280 is actually a lot, lot bigger. I mean, the, technically speaking, the 280 is a lot less powerful, but um, to see the same temperatures from something that's obviously a considerable size smaller is actually a really nice step forward and is just generally pretty cool. Now, in terms of te uh, its performance, it's actually a pretty nice card. Personally, I'd suggest this for the 10 TV market, although AMD does suggest it can do 1440p quite well, which on sort of medium to, I guess, sort of high settings, I can definitely see being an option. Although, if you did want uh, you know, to go for something like a, a 4K or even something at uh, 1080p 144Hz, the, you may want to look at something like a, a 390 or 390X for that sort of thing. But you do get basically 60fps at 1080p on ultra or high settings across the board, which is actually really nice. The main uh, difference being uh, GTA, as you'll see in the end, which was about 30, but that is on pretty high settings, um, you know, t so that it's on the same level as uh, what I tested the Fury X on. So, yeah, it's quite a big difference, but it's definitely a really nice performing card and as I said with the performance at uh, the temperature and ge general coolness being really quite decent that's also pretty awesome. So as usual here's my thoughts, opinions and all that sort of good stuff. So this card did only come out today so do take all the performance results you see here with a bit of a pinch of salt um, as driver updates and stuff like that will definitely help this card improve in performance uh, and just generally get better. Now in terms of temperatures it's actually really nice I mean even something compared to the 280 which is obviously a lot bigger than the, the 380X. Um, the, the temperature wise is almost the same, if, if not this better, which is really awesome. Now, it's no Fury X, for example, which, you know, performs just ridiculously and because of the, uh, the radiator down there, uh, it's just generally quite awesome, but um, it's still certainly a really awesome car. Now, this is mostly aimed at, you know, um, 1080p 60fps on high settings which is actually a really sweet spot to go for. The price point uh, at time of launch is actually really nice and uh, if you're looking to build a new PC then this is and you know you're looking at 1080p for the next year or two then this is definitely a very viable option and something that I'd recommend you check out. Now in terms of pros and cons there isn't really many cons with it. The only thing is that it probably won't be able to handle for, uh, 1440p or 4k gaming all that well on sort of higher settings um, so it's not you know your your most amazing card you, you know if you want to spend a lot more buy one of these but um, yeah I mean in terms of pros it's great for 1080p it's sort of 60 FPS which is a really as I said sweet spot um, it's nice it's relatively quiet at least this card anyway depending on which one you get it may vary this one is quite cool in terms of temperatures I think I maxed out about 75 degrees under full load for quite a long time so that's really awesome and uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I personally, I'm not a huge fan of the look of this one, but as I said, this is just this specific one that I managed to finally get after quite a lot of trouble. So yeah, just do bear that in mind. In terms of um, sort of scoring, you're gonna give it a four for five for money, four for performance, four for, or, well, I guess five for functionality because it's a perfectly functional and pretty awesome graphics card. Um, style for this one specifically is gonna be a four because it does still look quite good with the heat pipe sticking out and all that sort of stuff, but just not my personal favorite. And it's gonna be a actually. A 5 for Tech Team GB score. It's a really nice card and it's certainly worth some money if you are looking for a 1080p 60fps graphics card. 
which is why it's going to get the Worth Money Award. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see any more launch day products, um, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button down below too. Other than that, check out some of their videos. Check out YoYo -Yo Tech if you want to pick this or any other tech if you're in the UK up. Uh, otherwise, there's worldwide links down below too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As I said, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next video.